day YouTube, um, or good night YouTube, whichever it is today. Right, um, yeah, what am I doing in the middle of here? I'll give you a look. Early on a Sunday morning. Well, I'm trying something new, uh, it's called geocaching. Um, I'll give you a link in the box. Uh, I've just found my first cache of the day. I've been, I've found a few already. I found about eight, um, but the first of the day, and I'm not kidding. It's that small in this area. <laughs> but there was a little clue. But it's the second time I've been to this place, and I finally found it. So now I'm going to have to put it back. Um, I'll tell you a bit about uh, geocaching in the next slot. Right, geocaching. Uh, geocaching is where it's like a treasure hunt and you solve pu puzzles and get good references and all sorts of things like that but um, I find it a very good excuse for a ride so I'm on a geocache uh, run today uh, this one's called Bluebell Woods Run um, and to be honest when you've got views like that on a day like this it's actually really really nice um, I've got my coordinates, um, I've put them into my GPS, as you can probably see there, and it's telling me I need to go 87 metres up that way, which I do believe will be through that railway arch there. I've got a clue, it's called Take a Seat, so I'm going to go there now. Right, I've just found it. It's quite a good one, there's a train going past. And I've got a muggle. Uh, that's a Harry Potter reference, but it's what people who don't cache, uh, the geocache um, call people who are not geocaching. Um, <clears throat> this one's quite a good one. Um, easy find, but if you're not specifically looking for it and know what you're looking for, you would, uh, wouldn't see it. Uh, this one is in a hollow bolt. And what you get is you get a nice little log. This one's got a stamp on it and you fill in the logs, so you've got times and dates and what you do is you uh, put your name in the log now I've put my name in the log and I'm going to put it back in just got a message uh, if you don't recognise that, that's from a specific song that's Andrew Eldridge shouted in coming I have it for my uh, text messages but yeah, uh, I've signed my log, I'm going to put it away and then we'll go on to our next cache Right steps this is on our second cache it's no third cache of the day actually i think we're going down that path there All right a little bit of a walk right we're at the next site i'm within nine ten meters of the cache We'll give about 25 metre, uh, 20, 20 to 25 metre outlay. I've got a clue. I think I can see it from here. I'm going to go for a look. Right, um, well you can see why it's called Bluebell Wood. Lots and lots of bluebells. Lots of them. Um, the last one, I couldn't find it. Uh, it hasn't been found for a couple of months, so... Uh, Maybe it's gone for a walk, is. But as it's on my way back, I'm going to check on the way back. So I'm on my, I'm on my next one, um, which is called Are You Stumped? I've got a clue. So hopefully we can find this one. But it is pretty. Right, I've just found my third one of the day. Um, the clue was White Arrow. So I spent absolute ages looking at that <laughs> then I realized the clues in the name stumped well, there's a few stumps around but I found it signed it and I'm on to my next one right probably looks as if I've been dragged through the back of a hedge I'm on a major road so bear with me um, the festive tree one that I said that I couldn't find I went back to it and after quite a long time looking, I found it. And in there was a box with lots of little bits and pieces in the log, so I signed the log. And I also found this. It's a little pirate. 
and on it it says it's a trackable item so what I've done is I've taken it and said that I've taken it and I'm going to put it uh, the next best possible geocache for the pirate so what I've got to do is now go back check online look at the trackables and then see where I can put it best for them so I'm on to my next one now um, so that's four for four so far um, so I'm 114 meters away so I look as if I'm going up here Yeah, I cheated. I had to go back to the bike anyway. So um, I've ridden the bike down as close as I could. But it looks good because there are some steps up ahead and it says it's near some steps. So we'll see. All right then, found it. Took a bit finding. Um, yeah, it took me a lot of finding, going up and down those steps quite a few times, but I've got it. Um, here it is. There it is. So what we'll do? Sign the log. There's, we're looking. Hey, those little toys. Oh. Crayons. What we're going to do is I can take one of these and replace it with something I brought with me. But as there's nothing here, I would greatly appreciate. North Cockermouth, anyway. So what I'll do is I'm going to sign the log, put all this back. Um, quite an easy find. Um, other people have tampered with this apparently. But let's get this log book out. Right, I've hidden it. I've got some muggles, so I've got to run. Uh, there was a couple of lads, dodgy lads on bikes around here. Um, they were basically racing around the woods on with no helmets, no nothing. And they started eyeing me up as such um, because I was carrying my phone on me. So I'm going to make a quick dash now. Anyway, I found it. It was around here somewhere. But I'm not going to tell you where. Right, um, I fought the last one. Um, it's one I've been to before but couldn't find. Um, had a really good look and I spent ages looking around here and, and I knew the clue. The clue was in Latin and I knew what the clue was, so uh, I've been looking around everywhere for a natural ob looking object in an area full of natural looking objects. Anyway, found it. <laughs> Just to show you how hard it is, you can see all the man-made stuff, lots of rubbish, which is terrible really. Um, but can you see it in this picture? No, you can't. Well, this is not where it's hidden, I'm going to put it back in a minute. But I did find it and I'm going to put it back. But this is ingenious. <laughs> it's in there, and I'm looking for a natural looking object, Hawthorne to be precise. Um, and I found it, I've signed it, so now I'm going to put it back. And that's my, uh, that's my geocaching done for the day. Um, I've doubled my total nearly enough, that's uh, 15 so far. So uh, until next time, I'll show you the mechanics a bit later. Bye bye.